All right, what's up, guys? I gotta address all of this drama about the new clothing line and people saying it's way too expensive. Check it out. I wanted to make clothes that I would personally wear. I wanted to make stuff that I would be proud to hang in my closet. For that reason, Nova and I spent three weeks sourcing the highest quality garments to print our designs on. Higher quality, more expensive. That means I have to pay more money to get it, which means I have to charge more money to sell it. This is why bands primarily sell black and white shirts with a one color logo printed on them. Because flannels and striped shirts and track suits and sweatsuits and acid wash shirts are way more expensive to make. This is why bands use white and black t-shirts with one color print. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to do something special for this clothing line. People are hitting me up like, $50 is way too much for a t-shirt. Okay, there's still tons of shirts that are $30 on the website. There's tons of cheap hats. There's tons of cheap bandanas. There's tons of cheap car decals. You ever been to an independent artist show? They charge a lot for their merch. What I'm charging online is still cheaper than you're gonna get at any merch booth at any show ever. Speaking of bands and band merch, this stuff that I just dropped is much higher quality than that. It's far beyond that. Like I said, Nova and I spent three weeks sourcing the highest quality garments to make this new line. So I don't know, I guess it's up to you. You can go spend $15 on a shirt from Walmart and it'll have holes in it next week. Or you can spend 30 or $50 on a t-shirt from my website and it'll last forever. It's, it's up to you, I don't know. It's like people have no problem spending $200 on a pair of Nike shoes, but they don't wanna spend money on independent artists. Why is that? Why do you spend $200 on a pair of Nike shoes? I'll tell you, it's because you like them and because they're high quality and last forever. Might I mention, a lot of the clothes that you pay a lot more for are mass produced garbage. Every single design that you see on the website right now, either I handcrafted it or Nova handcrafted it. We even got like two fans that are artists to work on some designs with us. It's not mass produced. This stuff is legitimately one of a kind. It's special. It's like I can either make clothes that are cost effective and people will complain about the quality or I can make clothes that are super high quality and people complain about the cost. How do I even win at this point? What do you guys do for a living? Lawyer, doctor, construction worker, teacher, retail, grocery store clerk? No matter what you do, I'm willing to bet that you feel like you are grossly underpaid for how hard you work. Nobody gets what they feel they're worth. So when I'm looking at this, it's like I spent three weeks designing and drawing and photoshopping and working with other people. We spent three weeks looking for the highest quality garments to put those designs on. We spent two weeks redesigning the website so it's a more friendly shopping experience. Just a day ago, Nova and I were up till 5 a.m. working on the website to make sure we could release all the new clothes to you guys and then we were waking up at 8 30 a.m to release it all two and a half hours sleep 20 hours of work straight after three weeks of late nights and early mornings creating this stuff so we put a lot of time and money and energy and effort into this clothing line and if i don't price it to at least make a little bit of a profit i'm not doing justice to myself or nova who have literally been breaking our backs for the better part of a month to even make this stuff possible and you have to remember, I'm completely independent. We did this by ourselves. We don't have a team doing this for us. Speaking of independent, I saw somebody say, oh, the prices on your clothing are too high. Tom McDonald sold out. Yeah, I sold out. I independently created a clothing line, redesigned a website, designed a bunch of clothes, and sourced the best clothing possible to put our designs on independently with my girlfriend. Then I figured out a way to get them to everybody in a quick manner, and I do a lot of the packing and shipping myself. What a fucking sellout. Shut the fuck up. Oh, and to the people who say that they're tired of me coming on here and promoting and trying to sell my merch and my clothes and my CDs and blah, 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 blah. Newsflash. I'm an independent artist. If I don't do it, nobody will do it. And oddly enough, these little pieces of paper keep showing up in my mailbox. These little, these little square gimmicks keep showing up in my mailbox and they're called bills. And I gotta pay them, unfortunately. This is how I make my living. This is how I get groceries. And I think I come up with some pretty unique and funny and interactive and entertaining ways to actually promo my stuff. So not only am I just promoting to you, but I'm giving you something worthwhile to watch and maybe put a smile on your face. Be thankful for that. Because most of your favorite artists are subliminally marketing to you all the time. And then you end up buying stuff and you don't even know why.
At least I'm honest about what I want to do. I love y'all, but buy my shit. Speaking of the way that people market their stuff and sell you clothes, you ever wonder why you never see my face on a t-shirt? You never see my name on a t-shirt? Because my clothing is designed by me and it's an extension of my art. They are art pieces. They're actually dope clothes that you can just wear out and wear around without promoting me. I don't put my face or my name on my shirt for a reason. I don't want you guys out there looking like walking fucking billboards. Instead, we do Hangover Gang, which is your community as much as it is my community. And I think it just makes for doper clothing. Anyway, for the reasonable people out there, I hope that cleared up some of your questions and I hope that cleared up some of your issues. I'm not trying to yell at you. I'm not, I'm not trying to be a jerk. I'm just trying to explain myself. And when you get bombarded with thousands and thousands of comments of people saying the same thing, it's like, man, you just want to give them a piece of your mind. I hope that cleared it up. I'm sure there's still gonna be people that have issues. I'm sure there's still gonna be people who make up problems in their own little minds because they don't understand the process of this stuff. And to those people who are gonna still create problems, I have one thing to say to you. Fuck you, buy my shit. Or better yet, fuck you, don't buy my shit. I don't need a bunch of assholes running around repping Hangover Gang. And all the cool people out there in Hangover Gang that get it, they don't want a bunch of assholes running around repping their team either. Either way, I still love you. Even though we might disagree, I still love you. And it's still Hangover Gang forever. Peace, dude.